Big Mouth. Hey guys, it's Nikki, and today I'm gonna show you how to make your very own Big Mouth mask. When you get your kit in the mail, it will include two mask templates with a moving mouth mechanism, some adhesives, and thick paper to print your mask on. The first thing you've gotta do is decide what kind of mask you wanna make. You can choose your pets, your friends, whoever you want, it's up to you. Just make sure you have their permission first. Today, I'm gonna make a mask of myself. So, I put my high-res photo into the Big Mouth mask website, rotate and zoom to make sure it fits just right, drag the dotted circles over the eyes to make it easier to cut out, make the curve of the mouth. If the face isn't smiling, you can give it funny teeth. Now mine is smiling, so I'm gonna skip that. Then you hit print. And here's what I got. From here, you're gonna need to cut it out. You can either use a precision razor or a pair of scissors. And remember, be really careful with sharp objects. You wanna cut smoothly around the face. Follow the jawline. There's a mark inside the mouth that shows where to cut for the mechanism. For the hair, follow the general shape. The fluffiness of the hair really hides a lot of mistakes, so you don't need to be super careful here. Once you cut out the shape of the mask, the next thing you need is to cut out the eyes. The easiest way to do this is to put some sort of backing on your table. Sticky tack, styrofoam, even cardboard. I'm gonna use this cutting board mat. To remove the eye holes, you can use scissors or the tip of a pencil if you'd like. I prefer the precision razor for this, but really anything pointy will work. Next, you want to attach the mask to the template. You'll want to line the mask on top of the template so you can cut out the eye holes. Then, if the mask that you're making is smaller than the template, you'll want to trace over your mask so that you can remove any excess. You can do this with the same cutting tool that you use to cut out the mask. To attach the mask to the template, place these sticky strips on it. Then use the mouth cutout to line up the mask. And there you go. Now the last step is making the mouth move. The jaw will print out on its own sheet of paper. You wanna cut right around the border, making sure that no white shows. Scissors are great for this. And make sure it lines up. When you know that it lines up, peel the backing tape from the mechanism and attach the mouthpiece to it. And now you have a working big mouth mask. If you decide to make a mask that's too large to fit on one sheet of paper, the process is pretty much the same, except for a few minor differences. Firstly, you'll need to choose landscape in your printer settings. It'll print on three pages instead of two. You'll wanna be really careful when trimming the parts of the sheet that border each other. Cut out the eyes, and if they fall on the joint, it's even easier. Mine didn't, but that's fine. The other important difference is that you'll wanna line up the bottom sheet with the mechanism, and then line up the top sheet with the bottom sheet. And now you have an even bigger Big Mouth mask. So use your imagination and have a blast. Big Mouth. Isn't that right?